Now, General Dari was also out for an evening walk, and he heard the music and the beautiful voice. He went to see where it was coming from. This means since someone was there. She turned, and when she saw it, it was General Dari. She was so embarrassed that she ran off. Now, for Dari, it was a revelation. This was the first time he saw her for the young, beautiful woman that she was. And he vowed she would be his wife. Now, the queen found out about the event and had called General Dari for an explanation. He described... Now, Dari was summoned by the queen and he described what he saw and what he had felt. She then dismissed him and called for Yasmin. Now, she asked Yasmin to call upon the genie. And Yasmin said, O oh, genie of the lamp, please come and speak to our beloved queen. Then to Yasmin's surprise, Queen Zenobia asked her to step aside so she can speak to the genie alone. Now the queen asked, Oh genie of the lamp, did you make General Dari fall in love with Yasmin? And the genie said, of course not. All I did was give them the chance to see her as a lovely young woman she is. Now she nodded and asked, can you help me again in battle? He replied, no my queen, my time here is done. There's one wish left and it has to be for Yasmin. The queen thanked him and called Yasmin back. Yasmin, she said, I would like to officially introduce you to the head of my army, General Dari. Now Dari walked in and Yasmin looked confused. She was even more confused when her father walked in after him. Yes, Yasmin, the general loves you as much as you love him. And as the queen, I decree that if you are willing, we will have a wedding today. Now, Yasmin, overjoyed, she replied, I would be honored to marry the Queen Dari, but General Dari, but today I have no clothes or anything. The Queen looked at the genie and he said, Make your final wish, dear Yasmin. Yasmin said, Oh, genie of the lamp, please make me the most beautiful bride of the land for the most handsome, remarkably handsome groom, and make this a celebration the whole town can enjoy. Now for the last time, the genie snapped his fingers and three people came through the smoke. First, the Egyptian woman who was the makeup artist of Zenobia's ancestor, the great Cleopatra. Secondly, another woman holding the most beautiful, beautiful of dresses. And the third, holding a tray of delicious, delicious food. And then with a wave of her hand, the queen ordered everyone to go and prepare for the most remarkable wedding we've ever seen. handsome and the bride who took everyone's breath away of course the queen came happy to also be a part of the celebrations now as you can see even our friend genie came out out of his lamp to enjoy the wonderful festivity naturally the whole town was glad to rejoice in such a wonderful occasion and you know what comes next how do we celebrate this occasion with a dance? Let's hear it for the Arabian Night!
Let's hear it for them. Now, as the bride and groom went off to start their wonderful life together, as tradition dictates, they shared sweets with the townspeople. And of course, we know they lived happily ever after. Now, as for Queen Zenobia, she reigned for another three years and managed to take back 80% of the lands in that short time. She was intelligent, resourceful, and an equal among men in a time when women were not considered equal. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Queen or any of the ancient or modern Arab civilizations, pop over to our display tent to your right, or sample some food fit for queens and kings at our food pavilion to the left. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful festival.